Want to use WhatsApp securely but struggling with proxy setup? Or unsure which proxy will keep you connected and safe? I've got the perfect solution for you. I'm here to help you pick the right proxy and guide you through the setup process so you can use WhatsApp seamlessly and privately no matter where you are. Stick around because by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to set up the ideal proxy for WhatsApp on both Android and iOS. Just follow these steps and you'll have it up and running in no time. Before we dive in, hit that like button to help us bring more content like this. Let's be real. Just because WhatsApp is the number one messaging app worldwide, it doesn't mean you can access it everywhere. The problem is, as always, geo restrictions. Some countries block it entirely while schools and offices and others show up firewalls to stop you from chatting. Now, I know this can be frustrating, so what can you do to get WhatsApp working in places where it's not available? The answer is simple, proxies. But not just any proxy. You'll want to go with premium residential or mobile proxies, they're the most reliable. Unlike public, shared or data center proxies, these help you bypass restrictions and keep your messages private. Now, WhatsApp only allows you to use public proxies by default, but that's pretty much useless. They won't help you unblock WhatsApp or keep your messages private. That's why it's crucial to set up a premium proxy on your phone and make sure you do it right. But don't worry, I'll walk you through setting up proxies step by step for both Android and iOS. First up, Android. We'll start with mobile data and then move on to Wi-Fi. Stick with me and you'll have it all set up in no time. All right, let's do this together. Open the settings app on your phone, find mobile networks and tap on it. Next, choose your SIM card. Now tap on access point names here, then choose the APN you're currently using. This is where you enter the proxy credentials you got from your proxy provider. Just don't forget to choose proxies from a location where WhatsApp works, that's super important. Watch as I enter the IP address or host name, port, username and password in the corresponding fields. Check to see if everything looks good. Tap the back arrow and you'll be asked to confirm your settings. Tap the OK button. Now toggle your phone data on and off and your proxy is ready. But before you try using it for WhatsApp or any other app, make sure you test your connection. Do that by opening a website in your browser and entering your proxy username and password if you're asked to sign in. Once you do that, tap sign in and you're good to go. Let's see how to configure a proxy for Wi-Fi. Now, before we dive in, let me say the steps may slightly vary depending on your device and Android version. Still, the process is more or less the same, so you can follow along on my screen. Back to settings. Tap Wi-Fi or find it under connections, depending on your Android version. Find the Wi-Fi network you want to configure and tap the arrow icon next to it. Next, scroll down, tap proxy and select manual here. Now enter the host name and port from your proxy dashboard. You can follow along my screen as I enter mine, then just tap the check mark icon in the top right corner to save the settings. To test your connection before using WhatsApp, open your browser and try to visit any website. You'll see a pop-up window asking you to sign in as you see here. So enter your proxy username and password, tap sign in and you can start using your proxy to access WhatsApp with another identity. Ready to dive into proxy setup for iPhone and iPad? Let's go! Setting up a proxy for Wi-Fi on iOS. If you didn't know by now, iOS does not support proxies for mobile data, so I'll walk you through the setup process for Wi-Fi. Setting up a proxy on iOS manually. Open the settings app on your iPhone. Next, tap Wi-Fi. Find the Wi-Fi you're connected to and tap the blue eye icon on the right here. Now scroll down to find configure proxy and tap on it. See the three options here, select manual. Now enter your proxy server address or host name in the server field and the port number in the port field. You'll find these in your proxy dashboard. Next, turn on the authentication option if you're using the username and password authentication method. Add the username and password you got from your proxy provider. You can follow along my screen as I enter mine. And finally, tap save to save the proxy settings and you're good to go. No matter which option you choose or what device you use, check to see if your proxy works. You can do this by visiting an IP checking website like What is my IP to see if your IP and location have changed. As long as you use reliable residential or mobile proxies from a trusted provider like IP Royal, you can enjoy WhatsApp from anywhere and not worry about privacy issues. With over 32 million residential IPs from 195 countries and over 2.5 million IPs from real mobile devices in regions where WhatsApp works, you can unblock this messaging app within minutes. Ready to start? Head to iproyal.com now and get the best proxies for WhatsApp today. Not sure what type of residential proxy to choose? Check out this video where we explain the difference between static, dedicated and rotating residential proxies. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech tutorials and hit the bell icon. See you in the next video.